All right. Basically, it's Aklon reacting to Aklon. Th this is weird Inception shit, but okay. Massive shout out to Lenovo for sponsoring this and more on the Lenovo sponsorship at the end of the video. So, ladies and gentlemen, Aklon here. Welcome back to each one of you. And of course, if you're new to this channel, thank you so much for joining Dude, us. Dude, I, I have learned so much, so much since I did this for the first fucking, like, so when, when I started doing this, and for so long, I didn't focus on shit like this. Why did I ever do this? Why would I start my videos by basically wasting people's time for the first 30 seconds, 45 seconds, talking about sponsorships, uh, greeting everyone, telling people to sub. Oh my God, I'm so glad I no longer do that. I am very happy to have here. Now, full disclosure, we are talking about Final Fantasy XIV, my first impression. I look different. You seem to look a bit happier here. <laughs> I go Grinception. Yeah, pretty much right. <laughs> I have over 200 hours in this game and I'm still not done with A Realm Reborn, at least the story part of That's A true. Realm Reborn. That'll make sense in a moment. One of the reasons it's taken me over 200 hours just to get done with the base game uh, is um, distractions. The game has an abundance of distractions that basically... Uh, leave you sort of yep. going off the beaten path like just wanting to check out something else and that checking out something else turns into this place this fucking place wasted so much of my time dude like, i would say almost half of that 200 hours if not more went into this fucking place when i discovered the golden saucer i accidentally chocobo happened racing. upon chocobo racing and i've been racing my butt off i've been loving the chocobo racing i, have I haven't to go even back gotten to, that. to the chocobo breeding part of chocobo racing i've just been racing and upgrading my mount and I i'm having the time of my life yep doing i should go that. back to i'm that. absolutely enjoying myself uh, Obviously, that. there's a couple of other reasons why it's been taking me 200 hours. For one, I have four characters that I've started uh, in this game. One is a paladin, one is a summoner, one is a dark knight, and one is now my black mage. The black mage is the character, my main. The, That's the what I've been sticking with. I fucking uh, love one of the, the black reasons mage. Is because I didn't even I, I didn't know that you could just do all of the jobs which are classes in this game on one character. I thought that they work the same as every MMO, you know? <laughs> if you want to play something else, you have to level that something else. And I... That was actually very daunting to me, just FYI. When I, when I first got... Like, my Paladin was the first one I got to Heaven's Ward with. And then I thought, wait a second. If I don't like this Paladin, I have to do all of this shit again? I have to go through this whole fucking bland leveling experience again? just so I can get something else. That actually put me off. My original video, I was going to talk about that and say that that's why I don't like this game because it, it basically forces you to play through hundreds of hours of boring shit. Now, also remember, I didn't focus on the story at all on my first playthrough. So it was, it was very rough because basically Final Fantasy is run around and get story updates. But if you skip all of the story updates, it's basically just run around. You know, you run around, you talk to someone, you skip the cutscene. Then you run to another guy, skip the cutscene. Then run to another guy, skip the cutscene. Then run to another guy, skip the cutscene. You're basically just skipping cutscenes at that point. I was actually very annoyed by that because I thought to myself, Jesus, I have to do all of this crap every single time I want to get a character to max level? That's insane. That's like a lot of grind just to get a character to max level. Uh, then, of course, I got informed very, very quickly on. Very, very early on, actually. On. Hey, you don't have 13K, to do that. Nice. Just take, Just choose the race that you want to play and then play whatever job you want. Uh, so that saved, that could have saved me a lot of time. Of course it didn't because I refused to Google anything. Um, <laughs> freaking Euler. Uh, I, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is a bad video. This is just a bad video. I wish I knew then what I know now. I should have scripted this actually. Uh, Marmalade, thanks for the tier one sub. Did really appreciate that. Welcome to the most degenerate chat on Twitch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is very much appreciated, bro. People, 
uh, it's gonna take you a while to get into the game. The game starts off ex incredibly slow. It, it really is a proper... Dude, old happy to have you part of it. Where there's a lot of running around. There's a lot of sort of downtime. The gameplay is a lot to get used to. And as someone who primarily played True. World of Warcraft for the majority of my MMO career, uh, I'd say this, this game came as a bit of a culture shock. Uh, but if the reason I call it a bad video is because nowadays almost all of my videos are scripted. I, I mainly do scripted videos. So this is what my videos look like now. Um, let's go word. So let's say the Final Fantasy one, right? So this is the intro. All of that is scripted. What is an MMO? All of that is scripted. The Forgotten RPG, that is scripted. And then here you get to the sort of semi-scripted stuff. So this is where I will talk more naturally about some of the things that is going on and how it attains how it pertains to final fantasy 14 but i have the list of stuff that i want to include so whenever i go what am i supposed to talk about next i'll quickly glance at the list and i'll be like oh that's what i want to talk about next and then i'll i'll talk about that uh and then we go back into full scripted again um and as you can see how does final fantasy approach each of these factors that again goes into its own thing um namria thanks for the 200 bits really appreciate that thank you thank you thank you i think this is the first time in my entire life that we've done three streams back to back and in all three of these streams you guys have triggered this skamar strain i thank you for the support i think this is the most that we've ever been able to trigger that skamar strain most of my watch time on youtube content due to time zone conflict but hey i can chirp in before i hit the road Dude, I, I appreciate any and all support. Even people who can't support the channel. Uh, as long as you can, every once in a while, clip something that's really funny or interesting. Share that over on the subreddit. Uh, join the subreddit. Join Discord. That's all I ask. If you don't, if you can't afford to be a sub or, you know, you don't want to be a sub. I know there's people who really don't want to give money to people on the internet. And that's fine too. Still happy to fucking have you here. Just, you know, if I say something funny... Clip that. Clip it out of context. Do whatever the fuck you want. Your frame is spreading far too wide. Uh, far and wide. My fame. I, I don't think I'm famous, but I I'll take it. But this is how I do my videos now. Because it, it flows better. It feels better when that's how the intro goes. And it's planned out a little bit better. The thing that I'm saving up for now to save Alex a fuck ton of editing. Because this is where Alex hates me. Because all of this has to be fully edited. Alex can't show my face during these intros or during these edits or during these scripts. Because I'm reading the script. So I'm saving up for a projector so that Alex can actually show my face and don't have to do 100% edits uh, on these. But it's definitely, I think the videos have gone up a lot in terms of quality. Um, at least I think so. I might be wrong. Maybe, maybe you guys go, what are you talking about, dude? Your videos have just gone downhill. In which case, I'm living in a fucking dreamland, but hey. It was a system shock to me. Um, and Alex can put up, uh, some of the clips, some of the reels and reels that we have. I think Alex told me he has about five minutes of, uh, me just complaining <laughs> about my early levels within Final Fantasy not liking the game. And there were a bunch of things that I didn't like, but we'll get into that throughout this video uh but yeah alex treat them to a bit of my weirdness i just have to say there's a crap ton of things you can choose here this is not really what i do i'm not in, what am i choosing oh he's tail let's go with a nice thick boy there we go it's insane the amount of customization options that exist here oh you can even just go up and how you doing bro whoa okay one eternity later it's too much customization hi right, here we go into the fucking story, into the fray we go. Let's do this. Let's become weebs. That's genuinely what I think of this game. But how, what am I watching? From an aesthetic perspective, this looks really good. Oh, look at the little fucking driver. All right, I, I just, right off the bat, I need to say, can't see with that thing on. There's no way. Oh my God, his face is so freaky to me. Thank the gods. Oh my God, this is a lot of reading. Uh, I think it's still my, okay. Is this important for me to know? Or can I just click through them? Oh my God. This is a lot of reading. Why did you become an adventurer? Gain power, obviously. Want to break the world? Uh, such as breathing and no profit <laughs> in being dead. Very true, old man. Uh, by the by, is this your first trip to Ula? Yes. Oh, wait. If I just chose yes, does that mean I'm going to get a massive fucking tutorial? It's going to waste my time. Ula. 
I don't care, bro. Let's just get into killing shit. <laughs> that was right, me in the beginning. The I was game. like, holy <laughs> shit. Can I stop playing now? Oh, no, I'm still watching cutscenes, I suppose. Oh, Ventura <laughs> over here. Why am I instantly scared? How do I turn this off? I don't care. All right, so I just spent like the first 10 minutes or so in a what can only be described as an extremely boring cutscene. There's a couple of things <laughs> that just break my brain right off the bat. And one of the first ones is the fact that you sort of have these cutscenes where no one is talking, just a bunch of reading. People's lips are moving, their mouths are moving, clearly saying stuff, but it's in the text. It's really game breaking. But okay, let's, let's just get into it. Let's not judge it. I need to turn off these tutorials. Fuck my life. Fine, let's pick up the first quest. I don't care, bro. Just allow me the uh, an ability to turn that shit off. There's a lot of cutscenes. I'm, I'm just, I just started the game, and I am a little bit overwhelmed by the sheer amount of cutscenes in this game. Little that I, I know. That quest now. That I've would be the thing that I okay. fell in love More with most. It's <laughs> a lot of dialogue. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that I need to read that I'm not reading. <laughs> An evil little person in the <laughs> deck collector. All right, it's unreal, the amount of fucking cutscenes. Don't know who you are, but I don't think I clicked on you. What do you guys Did think? Did I fucking <laughs> click on you? I was trying to click on the smith. Another cutscene. I don't care. Just want to kill some stuff and start leveling. Gelther. Gelther does not <laughs> like the way you are looking at him, but will let him pass if you deliver him. Okay. <laughs> May I will fucking slaughter you. I am an adventurer. How do I get out of this place now? The f I'm fucking trapped. The problem that I have with the city right now is that it f I, there's no s sound, no city sounds. I can hear some water. Maybe it's something. Hold up. Let's just quickly see here. We go to sound settings. Okay, there we go. This definitely helped. <laughs> I don't know what all this shit means. Where the hell am I going? I genuinely don't know where the hell I am or what I'm doing. I have not fought a single fucking thing, and I've been <laughs> playing this now for about 40 minutes. Oh, is this the Gladiators Guild? Am I in the Gladiators Guild finally? This is where I want to be. Let's fight. Oh, apparently I'm not allowed to fight yet. <laughs> JZB, so thanks for the 500, dude. Really appreciate that. Guild master. <laughs> what up? Am I fighting you? I just want to kill stuff. Have you the strength to live by the sword? Yes. No problemo. And welcome to the... Did I choose Gladiator? What fucking class did we make? Yeah, we did choose Gladiator. Okay, never mind. A lot of epic music playing, but not a lot of epic gameplay going on. I am so <laughs> lost right now. I have no idea where I'm going. Show me your wa warmest welcome. Is Bao a warm welcome? No, no, that simply will not serve. Well, fuck you, bitch. That is the warmest I want to give you. All right, Juliana, accept that shit. Oh. Now hurry off, we need those people. So I'm not gonna warm welcome just random people. I thought so you have to do all quests. Like in World of Warcraft, you see a quest, you pick it up, that's how you level. So I thought you have to do all the quests. And all the quests are sometimes so fucking boring. I was genuinely just thinking to myself, what the fuck? I'm running around saying welcome to people. I haven't, I literally haven't killed a single thing. I've been here for an hour and a fucking half. What the cunt is this game about? Am I going to be max level before I leave the city? Because it was so many quests and none of them give me anything to kill. There is a lot of legwork in this game. I haven't killed a single thing yet. Well, cutscenes. I did not listen to a fucking word she said. The questing <laughs> is very boring. It's very much just, look at me, ma. No fucking hands. I'll just run around and hand things in. Which, yeah... <laughs> I don't know. I, I, based on how much praise that this game gets from the players, I sort of wanted to see more. Let's go. Killing time. Fate joined. I'm helping. What up? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that's how it works. So that would be the combat. The combat is boring. I almost would go so far as to say sleep inducing. I don't even know what the <laughs> fuck I'm doing. Oh, this is player housing. What up, Mr. Cactor? <laughs> Look at them standing there pretending to be cacti. Like, that is the funniest that I've seen all day. Let's see what Lenovo has in store for Africa. Anyways, um, you guys can watch the rest of this if you want. Uh, I just wanted to show you the bet. That was like, that was a short, 
amount. So Alex cut this down from, what, 15 minutes to about five minutes. Well, the, the rest of this, the rest of this isn't gonna be funny because it's not really, it's just me talking now. The rest of, of it is literally just me talking. Yeah, we, we, we cut down. I don't know if Alex still has that. Alex, do you still have the 15 minutes of me, um, complaining do you still have that around or did you cut that from your pc already because if he still has that we could probably put together all 15 minutes for you guys as a video if you guys really want we'll do 15 minutes of me complaining about my first playthrough of final fantasy 14 but yeah little did i know that some of the things that back then irked me to death would actually become some of my favorite parts of final fantasy the, the cutscenes. I'm actually now at a point where I don't want to play a game that doesn't have this many cutscenes because the cutscenes provide so much of what makes this game great. It is story. It's all about the story. Um, so for me, uh, my entire viewpoint on Final Fantasy changed fundamentally. And I'm glad that it did because if I literally kept playing the way that I did, uh, I would most likely have ended up missing out on an incredible game because my wow mindset would have said, fuck this game. I'm not playing this shit. You guys heard me. You, you literally just heard me. I was like, this is fucking sleep inducing. This is boring. None of this makes sense. Why am I not fighting anyone? Why am I literally running around just handing in shit inside the city? And then you get to the combat bit and you have two spells that, that you can use on single target. And you're like, oh, for fuck's sake, I, I'm basically standing around doing nothing. Uh, I was ready to quit. I'm going to be honest with you. I was ready to quit. Um, the only reason I stuck with it is I promised myself I would do 10 hours of FF14. And then I would make the video on whether or not I thought um, Final Fantasy was good. So I promised myself 10 hours and I stuck with the 10 hours. And towards the end of the 10 hours, uh, I realized I've been playing the game completely wrong. I, I should probably revisit the way I play this game. 